this is a yin class and we focus actually um, more today on the legs we will need as usual a blanket it could be actually two blankets i have this very large cushion that serves me as a, a bolster and uh, two blocks I will start by centering. I'm gonna use my blanket for my head. Lay on your back. So one thing is good for yin, what you can do is um, set up the mood. If you feel the light is very bright, uh, maybe dim the light. Close the curtains if it's bright outside. Maybe put some uh, nice music, very uh, peaceful music. Maybe if you like to um, burn a candle, use essential oils, all, all those little things that can help us to relax more. So once you're on your back, you can have your knees bent like I have, or you can keep your legs straight, but you want to make sure that your back is relaxed on the floor. Bring your arms any way you want. So arms can be along your side, so you can have your hands on your belly. And you can close your eyes. So as you're lying down, start to notice how you're feeling. And you may notice any unnecessary tensions. Notice if you can relax more your shoulders. Relax the jaw. Relax your back more towards the floor. And start to notice the breathing without changing it. Notice if your breathing is long or short. Notice if your breathing is smooth or rugged. Notice overall the quality of the breath. If you wish to connect more with your breathing, you can place one hand at the belly, the, uh, the other hand at the center of the chest. And we're gonna practice together a breathing exercise. We're gonna count the breath. Well, I'll explain first what we're gonna do. We're gonna inhale on one, two, three, and we're gonna exhale on one, two, three, four, five. I'm just telling you first, so you know that your exhalation should be longer. So it's a way to organize your breath. Pranayama, prana means breathing, means life force, and yama means controlling. So you're controlling the breath. So let's do that together. First, take a deep breath in. And exhale slowly. And let's start in air one, two, Three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, 
five. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Just relax here, relax the breath. Inhale deeply. And exhale fully. And throughout our practice, our practice, uh, we will uh, do this type of exercise, breathing exercise, and we may increase inhale four and exhale six. Bring both hands at your heart center. And set an intention for your practice. An intention is a sankapa, is a maybe a positive, it is, should be a positive word or maybe a phrase or a sentence. Inhale deeply and exhale. And if you wish to stretch a little bit, so you can start by bring your legs straight to the floor, maybe one leg at a time and stretch your arms. Maybe you bring the other leg if it's comfortable for your back. You may want to bring your, your arms over your head to give yourself a full body stretch. And bend your knees, roll to one side. And push up with your hands to come up. So our first pose will be caterpillar, which is like a sitting forward fold. For this pose, I like to use a blanket underneath. You can use nothing. Maybe you use a block. Maybe you use something much bigger because when you are in this pose, you want to make sure that your back is comfortable. I'm also going to bring my bolster with me and my block just to show you a variation how we can uh, fall down. And first, bring your legs in front of you. And just settle here. See how it feels for your legs. See how it feels for your back. If your legs really are, this is too much to keep your legs straight, have your knees a little bit bent. And you may, actually, may want to place your bolster under your knees, so just like that, I'm going to show you. So it could be a way to do this. So your legs are more comfortable this way. Or you also sit on a blanket, something higher up, so your back is comfortable. Now, if you want to fold more and lay your head, your torso on something, you can place your, your cushion on top of your legs and start to fold forward this way. Arms relax on your on your support here. And if you want to have your head, maybe your head doesn't touch like me, your bolster, maybe you can stack blocks and have your forehead on the block. So there's many ways to come in poses. Go ahead, get into your poses. I prefer just to stay more upright and focusing more actually on the legs, keeping my back a little bit longer. I know you want to make sure now that your legs are relaxed. We have a tendency to keep our legs a little bit more stiff. Just relax. It's okay if your feet are rolled to the sides. And just check in. Again, notice if you're holding any unnecessary tensions. The tensions you should feel is on your legs, maybe in the, in the back. And those tensions are good because this is the purpose of the pose. 
but we don't want to tighten the jaw. We're trying to keep our shoulders away from the ears. And let's focus on the breathing exercise again. So inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. Four, five. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Just keep inhaling, exhaling deeply. You can keep that pattern counting the breath of just inhale deeply, exhale slowly. And if it's sometimes you feel your back or your legs are bothering you, just you can always release the pose a bit. And then when you're ready, you can come back into it. Take a deep breath in. And as you're exhaling, just come back upright. Just pause for a few breaths. Relax your hands, arms, shoulders. Close your eyes. Bring your hands by your side. You can first move your feet a bit. Roll your legs. And also you shake your legs up and down. And bend your knees. This is a, some release we can do after caliputal pose. You can bring your knees side to side like that. And you can lift your chest, shoulders back, lift your chin. And then relax. So our next pose is going to be a preparation for butterfly. I mean, you can do butterfly if you want, but I'm going to do the prep, which is more like a diamond pose. Uh, you have, I'm going to sit on the block for this one. And same thing, when we fold forward, you can have your, your bolster uh, in front of you. And the other block too, so I'm going to get it. So diamond shape, it's more where you really, your legs are, look like a, a diamond shape. So your feet are not too close to each other. So it allows us to get a little bit into our legs, but not too much. And also it allows us to go maybe deeper into your forward bend. And again, if you want to place the bolster, in front of you, the block underneath, and you may 
want to relax your head on it, that's the way to do it also. I have my arms on my legs and I relax my fingers so you don't have to hold on your feet or your legs with your hands. The other sensations in your legs, sensations in your back along the, the spine. Let's go back to that breathing exercise. So exhale all the air first. And then inhale one, two, three. Exhale one, two, three, four, five. Inhale one, two, three. Exhale one, two, three. Four, five. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. So keep going this way, counting to yourself. You may want to increase the breath, which we'll do soon. We'll just inhale deeply, exhale slowly. And inhale deeply. And as you exhale, come back upright. If you're in, a, in your forward fold, keep your legs into that diamond shape. Bring your legs now together. You can bring your hands behind you. Just move a little bit, your knees side to side. We're gonna go back to that same pose, move more into a butterfly pose. So you don't have to come off your support yet. You can stay on your block if you have one. And now for your butterfly pose, unless you feel diamond shape 
suppose was enough. Stay here or you can bring maybe your heels closer to you. And if you feel like folding forward, you can do that. I'm going to stay more upright. Relax your hands. Actually, I'm going to bring my hands behind me because it helps me to keep my legs more down towards the floor. And I want to focus on more sensations inside of the legs instead of coming to a four bend. And let's go back to that breathing pattern, breathing exercise. This time we're going to inhale for four, exhale for six. Make sure now you first, you take a deep breath in and exhale completely. And inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, Three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Four, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. So keep counting this way if you like that, or just deep breath in and out. And inhale deeply. And as you exhale, come back up, come back upright. Stay where you are. Keep your legs the way they are. Bring your legs now back together. And you might want to come off your block if you're on it. And same thing like we did earlier, windshield wiper your legs. Also bring your legs in front of you, shake them. 
flap your feet. So our next two poses are gonna be a little bit more intense. There are uh, yin pose. Sometimes, sometimes we don't know about that, but the squat and forward bend, standing forward bend are also um, yin poses. But if you wanna be even more yin, you can sit on two blocks or even one block and you open your your knees, your hands are inside, your hands, sorry, your hands are together, your arms are inside of your legs, and this can be your squat. So it's more uh, at ease. Now, if you want to come to a full squat, while well, you can come off the, the blocks and stay in the squat this way. As you may notice, my heels don't touch the floor, so I'm gonna take my blanket just fold it so my heels can be can rest on it and that's my pose again you can sit on your two blocks so maybe if you have a small chair and that's the pose we won't stay as long in this pose what i like to do is to have my thumbs point, pointing up and i rest the space in between the eyebrows on the thumbs. Close your eyes. You let your head be heavy. Relax the jaw. Take a deep breath in. And now as you exhale, bring your hands on the floor and start to lift your hips up. We're gonna to come to a forward bend. So if you have your two blocks nearby, I'm gonna bring them in front of you and have your hands on the block, blocks and actually place the back of your hands on the blocks. So your fingers are pointing uh, towards you, the back of your hands are on the blocks. This is a good way to stretch the wrist. Obviously, this is too much. Keep your palms on, on the blocks instead. And let your, if it's comfortable for your back, let your back go a little bit deeper. Maybe uh, let your head fall. Bend your knees, open your legs wider. So you want to be comfortable in your legs and your back. Bend the arms a bit so your, your shoulders are more relaxed.
and take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your blocks flat. And you're gonna come back to your squat so you can slide the blocks back behind you and sit on them. Or oh, I'm gonna take my blanket again and have my heels and we're gonna come back to our squat one more time. You can again place your your forehead on your thumbs. I like also here to massage the space in between your eyebrows with the thumbs. I'm pushing my thumbs out in the middle and I'm sliding my thumbs out towards my eyebrows and then go back to the middle and slide them out. Deep breath in, and as you exhale, now bring your hands in front of you, bring your knees down on the floor. You might want actually to, you might want to take your, your blanket and place your knees on it. Coming to your hands and knees, pause here. We're going to move first, release a little bit any tensions in our spine, doing some cat and cow. So in your cow, open your chest, shoulders back, and in your cat, push the floor away. Round your back if it's comfortable. And inhale into your cow. Exhale to your cat. One more time, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And to stretch also our legs, you can bring the right foot back. Your toes are on the floor, push the heel back. And you can roll from the tip of your toes and back. Or roll forward and back. Bring the knee down, bring the other leg, you're on your toes, push the heel back, and bring your toes forward, rolling forward and back. And then you're going to come to your chest pose. So open your knees a little bit wider, toes touch, and sit back on your heels. And sometimes chest pose is nice to do with a bolster. So you place that large bolster cushion underneath your body. 
and lay on it. So I, I'm going to place actually a block because that bolster is quite soft. I'm going to place a block underneath so it's a little bit more comfortable. And that's the pose. Your arms can be uh, more relaxed by your side. And once more, let's come back to that breathing pattern. I'm going to inhale, remember, for four and exhale for six. So we inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, Three, four, five, six. Again, keep going with that breathing pattern or just deep breath in and out. And take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to release your chest pose. Come back to your hands and knees. And any movements you want to do, maybe you want to sway your hips side to side, maybe one more, one more time you want to bring your legs straight. Maybe you want to come to your downward facing dog. It's not a, a yin pose, but something you may want to do. And uh, you're going to come to sit. So on your blanket or on something higher up. So it's going we're gonna do dragonfly at the beginning with the caterpillar. This time we're gonna do dragonfly 
which is a little bit like a little bit of except our legs are wide open. And same thing, you can take your the bolster in front of you with the block and you can fold with your arms relaxed on that support, head relaxed on the support. Again, something you can do or just stay more upright if you wish. And close your eyes. Relax your legs now. Relax your feet. Again, checking in if you're holding any unnecessary tensions. You may feel that after a few breaths, you your body can go a little bit lower, your body is relaxing more into the pose. Or you may feel that you want to release the pose a bit. And when you're ready, you can always come back to it. Notice the breathing again. And this time you can do the this breathing exercise on your own where you can increase the breath. So maybe you can inhale for six and exhale for eight. Or maybe you do inhale for four, exhale for six. And slowly as you're exhaling, come back upright. Bring your legs together. 
And start to move your legs side to side. Maybe lift again your chest. Lift your chin a bit. And bring your legs back straight. So our next pose will be on our back. So you can place a blanket for your head and you'll need uh, your bolster maybe for your final relaxation, but for now we'll take a block. So come onto your back. Lift your hips and place the block under your hips. So your block can be the first level, the flat surface and or the second. And I think that block is a little bit wobbly, so I'm gonna keep it to the first level and place and lift your legs up to the ceiling. A nice way actually to finish the day, or finish a practice to release all the tensions from your legs. Your arms can be by your side or over your head, or you can have your hands on your belly. Relax your legs a bit, knees uh, stay soft, relax your feet. And slowly bend your knees. You can let your knees drop towards your chest. It's like a reversed uh, child's pose. Place one foot to the floor, then the other. Lift your hips, take the block away and relax your back on the floor.
If there's anything else you want to do before your final relaxation, maybe you just want to stretch your arms, your legs. Or otherwise, get ready for it. You can bring the bolster under your legs. So your back is relaxed on the floor. Open your arms to the sides. Palms facing up. And here, before you drift away, let's go back to that breathing pattern, counting the breath. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one. Two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two. Three, four, five, six. Now relax the breathing. Relax your body. Relax your mind. Enjoy. And slowly come back. Just notice the breathing first. 
Notice again the quality of the breath. Start to move your fingers and toes. And stretch a little bit more your legs, your feet. Stretch your arms over your head if you wish. Bend your knees. Come to one side. And push with your hands, keep your head low and heavy. Come up to sit. your eyes closed. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Notice the breathing again. One more time together. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Remember your intention from the beginning of the practice. Repeat it to yourself. And together, let's take a deep breath in. And as we're exhaling, bow forward. Namaste. Thank you. Bye.